All right, chapter five continues. It rolls on and on and on, and this is providing a service. <laughs> Sounds pretty kinky, doesn't it? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Come on. This game is making me impatient with all these loading screens and saves. We're getting close, guys. We've only got a couple more chapters. And I hear a radio. Oh, hello. We've got a bomb and a guy. Uh, well, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what I should do here. <laughs> Blow your ass up. Yeah. Look at that blue holes out of the wall and everything. Oh. Where are you? Oh, playing games. Fine, screw you. I'll listen to the radio then. <laughs> your answer to those saying that he's actually providing a service long overdue to the city. This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Brevera from the New York City Police Department. I am providing a service for the city. I'm getting rid of all the crime and mafia and everything. Uh, let's try and blow these up. Oh! <laughs> This game doesn't actually have, like, proper aiming. He just kind of... I don't know. It's weird. You can aim away from someone and you'd still hit them. Let's try and blow this thing up. So a grenade. It's the quickest, easiest way to do it. Instead of sitting there for five minutes trying to shoot it with a gun. No one in there? No. Nope. Ah, yes there is. Oh, and yeah, my rules. Oh, no! Oh, that was stupid of me. Ah. Uh, gotta do all that again. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's start over. This is Tokyo Brando, and we are back for Chapter 5, providing a friggin' service. Uh, gee, I wonder what this chapter's about. Okay, we, you know what to do here, we'll throw the grenade over. There we go. Ah, oh, I was just checking. Ah, oh, he didn't die, see? Doesn't matter. Got him anyway. Come on, where's the guy that's around here? There he is. Yeah, he got him that time. Ah, uh, should we skip this? I've already showed it to you before. What is your answer to those saying that he's actually providing yeah. a service long overdue to the city? Yeah, we'll skip it. Unless you guys wanted to watch it again, well, I'm sorry. Uh, landmine there. A landmine, whatever you want to call it. Now this time, be careful of the two guys. Come on, I'm ready for you this time. I'll blow him up. <laughs> yeah, I got my revenge. I always get my revenge. Play on the desk. Video tape. Ooh, is it naughty? Is it providing a service? <laughs> uh, okay, I'll stop. The coal horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. 
tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. Oh, it is a naughty one. Candy Dawn, <laughs> taping her Put it in. in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. And I was sure that kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. Oh, I don't know. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Kinky sex makes the world go round. And gravity. Right. Everything's locked, locked, locked. Good. Means we can just Wouldn't continue. Let me a present. Oh, I love presents. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress. Oh. It's gonna be fun. Can I put that dirty movie in the video? No. Can't blame the guy for trying. Although I don't know if I want to see Alfred Woden, you know, Woden's wood. Oh, it's open. Oh, painkillers and ammo. 